right. What's going on, Verdicts Tribe? We got a full house tonight. We got B-Man, D-Man, Joey B, and myself. Uh, tonight, we're just doing another quick hit on a piece that's up on the website. Uh, the piece is on anxiety. Um, I wrote this piece and it was based on a book. Uh, it is called Awareness by Anthony DeMello. Um, I'll save you the hassle of having to read the book because although there's a lot of good points in there, it is a very, very tough read. Um, he is actually a very religious person. He's like a, uh, I believe he's a priest or a, a reverend, um, but he's actually in the church. Um, and he, Writes very difficult in the sense that what he is trying to teach in this book goes against everything, like basically that you've learned spiritually. Um, so the gist of the of the piece and also the book is essentially that anxiety exists. There's nothing you can do about it, but what you can choose to do is not associate yourself with it. And so if you are depressed, if you are sad, um, if you are anxious, instead of saying that you are those things, what he recommends is to say that you feel sad, you feel anxious, you feel depressed. Because the second that you associate yourself with that feeling, you become it. And we're so much more than our feelings. Um, we don't, we, it, the, when we choose not to associate it, and recognize that it is a fleeting feeling and it will pass and we can do something about it. We have control over it and we can overcome it. And that's ultimately how you're gonna be successful in kind of living, living a more uh, positive, joyful life. So, yeah. B-Man, what do you think? My takeaway is uh, very similar to that. So what it is is really the power of I am. Um, when you say I am poor, I am sad, I am depressed, that's creating a mental pathway that allows you to just slide right down the slide. You slide right into it and you will become depressed, sad, fat, unhappy. The more you say, I am, it's the power in saying that these are just feelings. They're, they're internal, they're real, but I'm not going to allow that to change what I am. Those are just factors. So put yourself in this situation. You, you might be having a hard time making ends meet. And when you get that electricity bill and it says overdue, like that's anxiety, depression, despair, all in one. But that's just a reaction to some piece of paper that says your bills are overdue, right? You, you don't necessarily have to say I am poor or I am stuck in this situation. It's really about taking control of that anxiety or not letting that anxiety become who you actually are, who your, who your being is. I mean, I've definitely dealt with that situation a number of times. Yeah, I, I think you're right there, Brian. I think the biggest part of that is, uh, you know, figuring out what that is when you start having those attacks or those moments and you haven't experienced them before. I didn't experience mine until I was, you know, in my early 30s. And out of nowhere, I started having these weird panicky type feelings. I couldn't figure out what it was for the longest time. Then I started realizing I was having these, you know, anxiety panic attacks and it wasn't you know really anything i was i could control other than i could change my mindset but it takes that while first identifying what it is which driving that and then you have to start making that mental commitment to change it uh say to yourself like this isn't really who i am and i know it's easier said than done obviously 100%. but uh you know it's it's you you start to figure that out then you cope with it then you manage it and deal with it and it, it definitely makes you feel better. And you you climb yourself out of it a lot faster that way as well. Joey, what do you think? Yeah, I mean, I, that, that's something I've struggled with my whole life. I mean, you know, it's this self-fulfilling prophecy thing, right? And, you, you know, Brian, you talk about mind over manner and the power of, you know, it's it's something that I I definitely create a lot of my roadblocks and I have suffered from anxiety um, and I do suffer from anxiety. And I think I'm sort of my own worst enemy in that respect where I, I do that thing where it's like, oh, this is gonna, it, it's almost like a defense mechanism. I go to the darkest place in the worst possible outcome to prepare myself for the, that to happen so that I'm protected when it does. But then that sort of creates a self-fulfilling prophecy where, like you said, it creates that possibility and then now it's much more of a reality that, that I've made it than it probably would have been without my doing that. So it's weird. Yeah. I mean, I think to summarize it, like 
you know, I think in today's society, society, especially we talk about this all the time with uh, social media, Twitter and Instagram and something like that. We're almost programmed to tie our happiness to something, whether it's internal, whether it's external. Um, and all of those things are temporary. It's fleeting, you know, like I heard a story one time of a UFC fighter, uh, Rashad Evans, right? He became the light heavyweight champion and he swore up and down that once he became the champion, his life would be complete. He'd be happy, right? And like three days after winning the title, he was like, okay, like what's next? So when we tie our happiness to something internal or external, we're ultimately going to be disappointed, um, you know, and we're ultimately going to have short-lived happiness. So the sooner and more effectively you can learn to disassociate yourself from those fleeting feelings, whatever they are, um, the more you're going to find a more eternal happiness and a more joyous life. So um, I think that's probably pretty much it for, for us. Um, it's a short piece. It's up on the website. If you like this video, please subscribe. Um, do us a favor. Tell your friends, tell your neighbor, tell your coworkers about us. Um, you know, if you've got something to add to this piece, if it's something that you're suffering from, we're here for you. We'd love to have a chat. Hit us up on email, hit us up on video, whatever it is we can do for you. Um, we're here for you. And in the meantime, Shields Up, all things verdicts at verdicts.com. Shields Up. All rise. The well hung jury is now in